Hi traders, welcome to our Q2 performance video. We're going to be looking at how did we achieve this 28.03% so far for Q2. As you can see with all the trades that we have logged so far in each of the strategies, which is us all over here transparently logged. And also we're going to be sharing with you the three trading principles for consistent execution. So this and more in this video. Hi traders, thank you for joining the Master Markets team today in our Q2 performance video part 3 and supporting us in our mission to spread the truth of trading and help you achieve consistent performance. It is still now upon here, founder of Master of Markets, Elitrace Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are traders in part 3 of our Q2 performance video in how we achieved this 28.03% of profit and 1% that would be of £1,000 that would be £28,030. All passive, all end of day strategies with 15 minutes per day. Not sitting in front of the trading screen so more or less this is purely passive kind of cash flow which is what the rich focus on and the three types of income out there. Right, traders, so now let's take a look on the third trading principle, okay, for consistent performance. We looked at the first two before in the last two videos, which was number one, consistent execution, number two, which was sustainable, scalable, reproducible strategy. Now to understand all of that, please go and look at the other two videos. And the last one today, we're gonna to be covering the third trading principle for consistent performance, is called stats review okay you must consistently monitor your stats if you're enjoying this video go ahead and smash that like icon if you haven't joined our channel yet click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications immediately when we post up quality content like this and especially to get our live trading updates sent directly to your phone now the first thing to monitoring your stats is to have a journal okay so that you can analyze your results how did you perform for the first three months and each month afterwards as well every single month and also in every quarter how you're performing as well okay all that you must be able to monitor also uh, log in every single trade onto a journal that you can then take a look at the wins and losses on how they are performing mainly you're really focusing on the drawdown perspective as well okay over here you can see on TSO primary the last two trades was the ones that gave us a really a big boost up here in July as well other than that you're really preserving your profits and waiting for the big runs that's how you should be observing this is what we call stats review now there are three things that we should be looking at now for example this 80% OE as you can see it's a very high frequency trade which we keep placing quite a, quite a bit over 98 trades that we have placed over uh, this uh, six um, seven months you see so that is about 30 40 trades over 10 instruments that we are trading now you see traders in terms of stats review there are three things that you need to pay attention to in our first part of our Q1 performance video we talked a lot about this which was the first part of stats review is drawdown always keep analyzing your drawdown how your strategies drawdown is the three types of drawdown all this was covered in our q1 performance video highly encourage you guys to go and watch that it's all on a youtube channel nicely segregated for you to go and see and reflect and then use it in your own trading strategies all right that's point number one the drawdown sometimes even some years you don't gain the profits that you want but if the drawdown is not being exceeded that's fine your strategy is still performing now the second thing that you need to be also looking at is your profit distribution, your profit distribution in your strategies, okay, in your performance. Now what do I mean by that? You see, the first three months you can see the 6% profit, 5.18 and then there's 11.20% over there. However, in the second quarter you can see there's only 2.62, 2.22 and then only 0.81. It has just dropped to 5.65% overall, whereas in the first quarter that was 22.38%. Now, for those of you who are unsure of any of the terminology or the concepts in this video, watch our free Trader Starter Pack 5 day video course as shown in Empire Cinema. It is educational, entertaining, 
and covers basics and advanced content with cross-transferable principles for trading and investments. It pertains to both beginners and intermediate traders, all dedicated towards helping you achieve consistent performance. Go ahead and register for it on the link below. You can also see from all your strategy performance over the past few years as well, if you've been monitoring all of them, see how your profit distribution is. Is there any recurring pattern that you have seen that usually the first three months is where the biggest profits comes or is it the first nine months and then it's purely random and it can come in whichever way format that it wants to or is there a recurring pattern? Now what we have seen traders in our profit distribution curve is that the what we have seen, we've not seen really any pattern for the first nine months. That means all the way up to September, we've not seen any pattern. However, we've seen from October to December, usually the performance is not that great and usually it comes in a very small drawdown. Okay. Now, however, most of the profits are made in the first nine months. You see, that's the pattern that we have seen in terms of a profit distribution curve. Now, if that is the recurring pattern that you see in your strategies, then the last three months, what we usually do is that we reduce our risk management. That means each trade, we, rather than taking it 1%, we will take it at 0.5 or even 0.25%, okay? So as to preserve our profits and not to unnecessarily give it away. Now, if we start to see the pattern changing, and of course we'll monitor it, then we will then adjust the risk management accordingly in the years to come. So that's the second part of stats review. Okay, the first part is drawdown. Second part is profit distribution curve. And then finally, the third part, what we need to look at is seasonality. Okay, seasonality. Now, as I've explained before, uh, with the, this link to number two as well, you see, most of the profits, as I said, we will get usually in the first nine months. The last three months, we do not. Now, that is your seasonality curve. Sometimes, you will also find that as well. Sometimes you would find that your biggest drawdown, sometimes for your strategies, might come in June or July repetitively for the last 10, 20 years. So therefore, based on the seasonality, you can also base your risk management accordingly. So do know all of that. And also know this seasonality can be also expanded into every eight years as well. Because every eight years, sometimes we do get a recession. And sometimes if your strategies are not uh, momentum based but a reversion based so maybe they might be performing better every eight years or even sometimes in certain parts uh, of a year so you must know all this uh, stats in terms of these three different uh, variables okay so there's something for you guys to reflect on and look at in your strategies but the first two are really important drawdowns in your profit distribution as you can see over here our first part of the Q1, we achieved uh, the biggest amount of profits. Next three months, much more lesser, as I said. That doesn't mean our strategies are not working. Most important thing we need to be looking at is drawdown. And as far as that is achieved, then we're doing well. And the profits are achieved uh, more or less to our average for the for the years that we have tested. Then we are good and we're good to move forward with it. I've covered a lot of it in our previous videos as well. Check through our YouTube channel to all that. So that concludes our three parts um, video for our three trading principles for consistent performance in our Q2 performance report. So the first one being consistent execution, second one being a sustainable, scalable, reproducible strategy and how do you do that? And the last one is basically looking at your stats review, okay? So that's all traders I want to say in this uh, video in terms of our stats review and the three trading principles for consistent performance and as we always say till the next time stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master if you want to get notified every time we put a video up especially on our live trading update videos hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications icon this will get the youtube elbows to kick in and for you to join us in our mission to spread the truth of trading further so that traders like you can benefit from our videos to trade like a master, achieve consistent performance and change lives.